Hey guys, I'm LB, and this is another post-commentary! Yeah, my microphone was still muted for this video too. This is Too Many Portals by TASTTT. And, uh, they, uh, uh, the person who requested this was somebody called... My name is TASTTT! Or at least, uh, I think they misunderstood something, so let's go look at their request explicitly. So this is my form, you see this is a request. And you say, in the username field, they wrote, My username is CTT, exclamation point, space, uh, semicolon, round parenthesis. Yeah. <laughs> the username field is for you to put your username, not to tell me a life story or something. <laughs> I don't really mind too much, but I just, like, I thought it was funny that they'd said that. So, I made this with Bmod a while ago, so don't expect too much. I'd appreciate it if you tell me what was good. Yeah, that's, that's something that happens when computers, uh, don't translate apostrophes correctly. It depends on your keyboard layout or where you live or something. Something is localization, it's a nightmare. You can mess the puzzle up if you go the wrong way. You might restart a couple of times, sorry. Yeah, that's a pretty bad thing. If you have trapping situations, I'm not personally a fan of that, unfortunately. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's read the actual description now. If past me will scroll down, there we go. This is Too Many Portals, made by me. This test chamber is based off auto portals, you don't have a portal gun. I'd say it's a solid 5 out of 10 difficulty. Feedback is always appreciate. So you can sometimes mess it up and may need to restart a few times. Thanks for playing the map. Yeah, if there's trapping situations, that's not good. You should not even publish the map in that case, in my opinion. But, we're just gonna have to check it out for ourselves. As you can see, we don't have a portal gun, so... The entire premise of this map is basically... Please continue to open into these the auto portals. Test chamber, which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. When test subjects are locked in a room with deadly lasers, they grab cubes off of ledges that they aren't supposed to be able to reach. Ta-da! Yeah, you're gonna have to move that cube further away if you don't want people to do that. The cubes calibrated. So let's head into this next room and see what's in here. Not much, not much. There's a bunch of auto portal services, I really- This map is a, a maze, and I can see why people would be able to get trapped in it. I don't understand why it's designed this way. Really, uh, these rooms, like, they shouldn't be separated like this. If they're- if they're signage from one room that leads to an object in another room, they shouldn't be separate rooms. It should all be one room that the player always has access to. If you wanna, like, separate the player, put, like, fizzlers and such, but don't use doors. The test chamber chamber lock doors are things that you should not use to separate the, s the stuff for the same puzzle. Generally, chamber lock doors are only used for return paths, or when you want the player to know that the previous puzzle has ended and you're starting a new puzzle unrelated to the previous puzzle. So I've noticed now that this- this is turned off, and I press this button, I don't know what it did. There's like- I'm not even paying attention to the signage, really, I'm just pressing random buttons. I'm literally not paying attention to the signage, because there is so much signage. And here we have an extra cube, and yeah, I'm trying to figure out which cube to do what. That door doesn't open anymore. So, we have three cubes total, I suppose. Actually, I don't know why I didn't bring the third cube over just yet. Instead, I just used the two cubes I have. I think I leave the third cube down there, where it was the whole time. Yeah, this cube. Oh, and I realized I trapped myself, so I need to go back up here. And let's figure out where this portal goes. It takes me back into this room, and now there's like a fourth cube? Like, where did this fourth cube come from? There's- there are four cubes in this map now, and there's only like, two or three droppers. And I'm like, one of these cubes had to have been pre-placed or something, because none of this is making any sense. Yeah, and I'm- I'm no-clipping around, complaining about things, blah 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 blah, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I realize this door's open now. And, uh, I'm not really sure why it's open, because we didn't do very much of the map at all. I guess I skipped a bunch of it. But yeah, now we have an actual mono portal right here. Gives us a portal gun. Not sure why. <laughs> and, uh, it's the end of the map. So yeah, before we go through the exits, I just want to point out a few things here. I'm not sure why we got a mono portal gun, because the map's almost over. I guess it's like if you wanted to do a map series or something, but... Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking at it, I'm talking about how having the separate rooms like this just makes it more confusing for the player. This wasn't so much a puzzle as it was wandering around through a maze, pressing buttons until the right combination happened, and pressing Control z when something happened that I didn't want to have happen. But yeah, I was thinking that you could use the death grill instead of a door there and put glass in the wall. 
Like, this- this door, it should really just be a death grill with glass next to it so that the player can see around it. And I already made the comment about, uh, what- what you should use these chamber lock doors for. They really shouldn't be used unless you're separating two puzzles from each other or if you're making a return path. And this area needs lighting. There's- there's not enough light in that upstairs area. Like, you put observation rooms here, but you could put some light strips upstairs or put another observation room. And, uh, yeah. I'd also recommend reading Rectorox's guide, which I will link in the description. Also, the, the signage here, this is- like, I was talking about how the signage- there's just so much signage that I'd ignored most of it. I don't know what I was talking about there. I've mostly forgotten. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Post-commentary is not fun, guys. Always make sure- always do a recording test! Always make sure your microphone is not muted. Look at the light on your microphone and make sure it is not indicating that the microphone is muted. What is past me doing? I think past me is taking a really long-winded approach to explaining everything. The nice thing about post-commentary is that you can always, you know, you've already explained it once and so you have the general gist down of what you want to say and so the second time you say it is much shorter. So, I probably said things in a much more brief manner than I did originally. Man, there's so much signage in this map. Well, anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really Your appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one test.